Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you may have seen on my debadging video for the uh, Corolla, my lift broke. That didn't sound right. So, capacitor blew up, but why did it blow up? So I got a new capacitor in just to see, make sure it's not just a capacitor failure by itself. So I got a new capacitor in, got it all connected up, did a test, still seizing up. The coil on this side is shorted out. So what I wanna do, uh, I called Olympic. They are sending me a uh, motor. It's a refurbished motor. So in the meantime, uh, just to keep things moving along, we're gonna go ahead and disassemble this guy and see what's going on. Well, as you guys can see, something got charred on the inside. We'll wait for the new motor to come in and we'll swap it out. That's shysty though. Like, I don't know what the hell happened there. Two weeks later. Well, we can see this one's bad, but we got the replacement unit in. So let's take a look at that. And it's not looking too good coming out of the box. Looks like it was dropped by UPS. Yes. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Well, that just looks like it was sheared off right here. And let's get this box off here. Oh, that's gnarly. We'll have to get something on that. Capacitor smashed. Lovely. <laughs> All right. So we are we are so much better than we were before. Ha ha ha. All right. All right. Let's see what else is wrong with this. That's bent. Oh, now look, a wiring diagram. We need a we need to fix the insulation on these two real quick. So we'll we'll separate this, put some heat shrink on there. Unbelievable. Buttons all smashed in. So 
So this one, look at this, it's secured from the bottom, which the other one was not. That's already a, a much better start. We'll switch this plate out for this one. Is that much better condition? God, this is such bull. Second thought, we're gonna take and transfer, just unbolt the container, since that's already filled with oil, and just transfer everything over and just reattach our hose. So, got everything closed up temporarily, and let's go ahead and plug it in and see, see what happens.
least this one works. So I'll go ahead and put the covers on the sides, close it up, and get all this mess cleaned up. And if anything, we have spare parts. In case I wasn't clear earlier, uh, for reference, this is your starting capacitor. This is your running capacitor. And just for reference, let's go pop down here and we'll, I'll show you how that works too. So, your starting capacitor is your large capacitor. So the other one is supposed to be slightly smaller, uh, between one and 100 farads thereabouts. So you have your running capacitor and then your, it runs in, so your wires run in, they run all around, and it runs through here. This connects from your starting capacitor side, right here, connects over up here, which connects to these. So once the motor starts spinning, it throws these centrifugal weights out, which then bypasses the starting capacitor. So it throws it out. Let me see if I can get you guys a better look. All right. So you have right here, right now it's clicked in for the starting capacitor. So once it's spinning, the weights pull outwards and we disconnect the starting capacitor and it just bypasses the starting capacitor and keeps it engaged. Now the other side has your running capacitor. All right guys, well as you saw we replaced the motor. Uh, still not perfect, I'm still not quite satisfied. Um, it is a refurbished unit, it's not a new unit, um, but it does get us back up and running. So when we do get the kit car in, we have something to work on. For the time being, it's good enough. We'll keep going with it. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.